Professor Yerabali, what are we going to learn today? Today we will take stock of everything we've learned in this class. Put them all together to work on a single final project. That sounds exciting. But if we include all things in one project, it'll be very complicated. To make it worthwhile, can we do something fun? In fact, that's exactly what it'll be. As much fun as you want to make it. After all, it'll be a game that you will design from scratch. We will provide the basic idea, which will be based on an 80s style arcade game called Space Invaders. You stretch your imagination and make it as much fun as possible. Ah, so from a hardware standpoint, we can make a game controller using the switches, the LED, and the slide pod. And to make sound, we'll use the DAC. And then we'll add graphics on an LCD. Yeah, and on the software front, you'll program timers, interrupts, the ADC, and write device drivers for the DAC and the LCD. We'll put together all of these in a game engine that we will provide. Ah, so this is a quite a complex undertaking. Will the students have to write everything from scratch? Not quite. We will provide a starter project for this lab, and the starter project will have the support routines for the LCD graphics. The rest of the stuff will come from your own work that you finished in the previous labs. Ah, can we see what one might look like? Yeah, let's take a look. So here you see the project implemented in its entirety. John is playing the game. Um, the controller involves uh, two buttons, two LEDs, a slide pod which acts like a joystick. Um, the audio is um, implemented using a DAC and the audio jack is connected to a speaker here but you could connect your headphones to it. Um, you see the display which is an optional display uh, which is a black and white display that you can purchase. If you don't have the display, we'll have a way for you to send the signals onto your PC and display them on that screen. Oh, dead. Dead.